100 is presented by Moon Guide. Plan your best hunt. The mature whitetail buck is without a doubt the most sought after trophy animal in North America. Countless hours of scouting, practice, and hard work are dedicated to harvesting these elusive creatures every season. Five-year-old Megan. With so much focus on these animals, why do some hunters struggle to catch a glimpse of these survival experts, while others seem to knock them down on a regular basis? Is it the dedication to detail, hunting the right properties, maintaining extreme patience and persistence, paying strict attention to triggering factors like the wind, weather, and the moon, or maybe, just maybe, it's the hunter that applies all of the above to each situation, virtually stacking the deck in his favor, that makes this group of die-hard whitetail fanatics consistently successful. I can't say enough about the red moon. I've had pictures of this deer since December 11th, and uh, you know, he's daylighted this morning, and tonight when I shot him on camera, that is, um, but you know, I was kind of using that moon guide to tell me when to go in and uh, this is only the second time I've hunted him. I hunted him on a bad moon one time and uh, kind of just biding time here and got in tonight on a red moon and man, I'm telling you what, it definitely got him on his feet. Couldn't be more excited. My biggest buck ever and we're just gonna, gonna enjoy him tonight and take it all in. Ohio native Ben Rising is no stranger to giant whitetails. I smoked him, dude! With 12 bow kills over the 170 inch mark and two surpassing 200 inches, Ben's success and big buck strategies are second to none. Working in the timber industry for the majority of his life, Ben has acquired an intimate knowledge of the whitetail woods. With our experiences in the timber and with me, my dad started me trapping at the age of six. And I learned animal behaviors at such a young age. I think that is really help me understand the whitetail because I've taken those tactics of trapping fox that have the most keen sense of smell. And I've said this in the past, and not everybody truly gets big deer or deer in general or animal habits or behaviors. That's a hog, man. I've hunted so long and I've been so successful and I'm not bragging when I say that, but my, my challenge is that one-on-one -on -one with a big deer. And normally those are the biggest deer in the woods and that is, what drives me. I mean, he's just a monster, an absolute giant. I mean, I just, phew. you work so hard to get deer like this. You know, people don't understand really what goes into it. I mean, it's just the amount of time and effort that goes into pattern a deer like this and trying to get him killed. And it's just unbelievable. But I mean, what, what an awesome buck, man. I mean, just unbelievable. I feel so blessed. Yes! 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 That was unbelievable! Hardcore whitetail hunters like Ben let their scouting tell them where they need to hunt and rely on the red moon to tell them when they have their best chance at catching a mature buck making a mistake during daylight hours. At this giant. Oh my gosh. And to kill a deer like this on their own terms, in their own environment, just <clears throat> no bait, no, just hunting them. There's no better feeling, man. He is a monster of a deer. Jesus. I mean, he's a monster. One thing that I go to that a lot of people, I think, really miss the boat and they should check this out, and it's the Moon Guide. I truly believe in the Moon Guide. It's not a fail-proof system, but the Moon Guide will tell you the best times to hunt deer. Everything revolves around the moon, and I know there's so many people that argue that and say that it doesn't, but I have hunted deer way too long to know that the moon does affect the movement of animals. This week's Red Moon Alert highlights Blake Alcatib's giant Texas buck from 2021 taken on the Red Moon. 
Not only is the 7x7 Texas new typical compound bow record, smashing the previous number one by nearly 15 inches, Blake's trophy was just named the 32nd recipient of Buckmaster's Golden Laurel Citation. Congrats, Blake! This fall, be sure to enter your Red Moon Kill in the first annual Moon Guide Big Buck Contest, presented by Big and J Long Range Attractants. With over $20,000 in cash and prizes given away to the winning Moon Guide app members, your hunt could also be featured on Team 200. To check out this incredible list of prizes and contest rules, scan the QR code or visit moonguide.com for details. Team 200 is brought to you by Osseo Gear, nature's most lethal camouflage. By Whitetail Institute, research equals results. Hoyt, get serious, get Hoyt. Ozonix, undetectable, undeniable. Lone Wolf Custom Gear, the innovator of mobile hunting. Quiet Cat, all terrain, all electric. Pope and Young, preserve, promote, protect. And by Black Eagle Arrows. If you need to quickly provide tall, thick cover for you and your deer, Imperial Whitetail Conceal is the answer. Conceal can grow eight feet taller or taller, and it's designed with components that grow to different heights, ensuring that Conceal is very thick from top to bottom. Conceal is the perfect product for adding security to your food plots so deer are more comfortable eating during daylight, provides great cover for hunters to access blinds, it can also be used to create cover for bedding areas, travel corridors, and funnels. Grow tall, thick cover rapidly right where you need it with Imperial Conceal from the Whitetail Institute. Remember, research equals results with the Whitetail Institute. This segment is brought to you by Luminoc. Light them up. After wrapping his tag on a 186-inch Illinois giant in 2016 during the Red Moon, Ben Rising traveled to Kansas for a buck named Titus, a 215-inch monarch. Ben targeted the animal and killed one of his biggest bucks to date. And all I could think was, man, you gotta make this shot. Like, I've never even seen a deer this big, this close, let alone the tactics that I had implied work to get on this deer. And here he is right in front of me. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. That was so tough, dude. We kind of celebrated a little bit, and you know, it, the, the emotions just sets in of what just happened when you take a deer of this caliber. That's as big of a mainframe eight-pointer I've ever seen. What a monarch. I'm saying what a monarch, Kyle. Look at this daggone thing. I mean, seriously, brother. What in the world did we kill? Look at this dude. Oh my gosh. He is huge body deer. 2016, number two booner for me this year. Number 10, this is my 10th booner. I just, I don't know, man. I don't even know what to say. I think he had a split here too and he broke it. Hoping for a repeat in 2019, Ben headed to Illinois for a buck named the King Eight. Yes. That's about as good an eight as you'll ever see in your life. I mean, that you can expect to see in the wild, let alone kill. And he's drilled. I mean, he's drilled. This is the king eight. What a buck. I mean, he is actually a nine. With one giant on the ground already, Ben headed back to Kansas for the last few days of the Red Moon. I got the moon guide here. And today on my app, 
And this is part of the reason why we made the trip. It's Red Moon, 1.36 p.m., moon set 10.13. The peak activity is 6.20 p.m. this evening, and this morning, 5.46 a.m. in the bedding areas. Which, I wanted to hunt a bedding area anyways, being the date that it is. I wanted to be close to doe bedding. Yes. Oh, I smoked him, dude! Oh my gosh! Jaden? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah! Look at that. Heck yeah, man. Wow. Optics for Team 200 are provided by Athlon Optics. See their complete line of sharp, tight, and price just right binoculars, range finders, rifle scopes, and spotting scopes at athlonoptics.com. 30 plus peak eschers this morning walked into the tree. Why are raw frozen scents better? No decomposition. The biggest advantage of raw frozen scents is that they freeze the deer urine and they keep it smelling like real deer in the woods. Deer urine has living organisms in it, so freezing is the only way to keep it fresh and real. This morning, I'd elected to use the 30 peak estrus and he followed me right to the base of the tree. When raw was tested on scent wicks, side by side with another leading scent brand, the average amount of time spent by multiple bucks was 266 seconds versus only five seconds for the leading brand. Look what I got laying right down here in front of the decoy. I froze it in the bottle, I poured out about half of it. Just a crazy looking old buck. This segment is brought to you by Hoyt. Get serious. Get Hoyt. Video camera was giving me all kinds of fits. This past season, Ben Rising is after a buck named Roman in his home state of Ohio. <coughs> after missing him while self-filming his hunt, Ben was able to relocate the big buck using a food plot. It's October 23rd, the Red Moon evening, and once again, Ben is behind the bow self-filming his hunt. The red moon is coming up. Figured out enough that this deer was going to a food plot, but I was noticing on the camera that there was more deer and he was showing up on that clover plot just a little bit more. At one point, he had actually hit it in daylight. Getting everything set up, you know, I'm feeling super confident. I just have that feeling, you know. For one, it's the 23rd, it's red moon. I haven't hunted this clover plot at all. He's been on it in daylight. And all of a sudden, I look to my left and I can see Roman. make a good shot on that deer at all. I've been watching him the whole time. I wasn't worried about filming. I filmed him out there a little bit and then I was watching him with the binoculars. This is the part of bow hunting that can just really depress a person. Especially a guy like me that takes it as serious as I do. I mean, to say that I'm upset is an understatement. I just had to take a minute and just gather myself up gonna park I know where they walked in it's starting to rain again which I knew it was gonna it's been raining pretty much off and on all night so I'm just gonna do the best I can take it easy see if I can't find him I don't believe it I found him he's right there and I looked 30 yards down the hill and there he laid dead as a hammer what a stud Roman you are a great deer so I walked up to him and I mean, I put my hands on him and I was by myself again. I'm trying to use the GoPro to do this recovery. And I mean, just 
what an animal you know to be able to go into an animal's lair I mean, when you start hunting a five six and a half year old whitetail on their terms you really are hunting a, a hard animal to kill if you're not a moon guide user i strongly encourage you to download the app and give it a shot or buy the dial the moon guide absolutely works you need to follow the red moon patterns if you've ever followed whitetail edge or follow me ben rising at all you know that i live and die by the red moon does every deer i kill on the red moon no but a lot of my biggest deer have fallen on the red moon. And this deer, for instance, it's not my biggest deer, but a great Ohio buck for October, October 23rd, red moon phase, this deer bit the dust. Uh, he did exactly what I figured he would coming to an open food source during that red moon period. And here he is, he's laying at my feet. And I'd been hunting him for a week straight, had one and two encounters with him, uh, mostly in the timber, but that uh, red moon drove him to the field a little bit and he was looking for does early. This segment is brought to you by Banks Outdoors, hunting blinds, deer feeders, and watering systems. For over two decades, the Moon Guide has been the number one rated tool for serious hunters, telling you when giant whitetails will move and where you need to hunt. Now available as a mobile app, the Moon Guide gives you parcel data, enhanced weather radar, and the deadly red moon data. My scouting tells me where to hunt. The Moon Guide tells me when. Our best day hunting ever. Two unkillable bucks, both taken on the red moon. Two giant bucks last year, both taken on the red moon. Plan your best hunt at moonguide.com. Team 200 is brought to you by Moon Guide. Plan your best hunt. Raw frozen scents, 53 times more effective. Whitetails Unlimited, working for an American tradition. Luminoc, light them up. Athlon Optics. Ridiculously good optics. Banks Outdoors, hunting blinds, deer feeders, and watering systems. And by Radical Archery Designs, proudly made in America. Coming off a red moon kill in his home state of Ohio, Ben has packed up his gear and traveled all night to reach his farm in Illinois. With recent pics of his shooter showing up in daylight, Ben knows there's no time to waste and plans his hunt for the evening red moon. His target animal, a buck he's named T-Post. The year before, T-Post sported a huge non-typical point off his main beam. In the spring, Ben was lucky enough to find a match set to this amazing buck. Bucks are moving through there really nicely, but it's all nighttime. I got one picture of T-Post this uh, yesterday morning. So, and that's only like 100 yards away, 150. So I'm really excited because the wind I got tonight and with this red moon phase, he should pop up into the spot that's down here. So I got about a 250 yard walk. I'm gonna slide down in there and see what I can make happen. And the moon was peaking two hours before dark. So I felt like that's, that's my best time. You know, two hours after daylight or two hours before dark. And I'm like, all right, we're in the chips. And man, I had a super eventful evening. I mean, deer were moving heavy. I passed up a really nice nine pointer, uh, a couple other small deer. Just, it was an incredible evening and it was really getting down to the wire. And I'm like, man, I can't believe I didn't see that deer. I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I can just hear noise to my left. Yes! 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 I just smoked that big boy. Yeah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I just shot Depots. Oh! I don't believe it. First sit. Yes! What a week I'm having. I just killed Roman the other day. I drive out here, I get in the truck, I'm like, dude, I got to get to Illinois. It's Red Moon week. The Moon Guide's saying Red Moon. It's time to get in the truck. I had to get Roman taken care of, had a little bit of work yet to do. I was like, I'm gonna hunt this afternoon on this Red Moon. And here we are. 
Well, you're not gonna believe it, but I did it again, and I'm in Illinois now. Got my deer taken care of yesterday, jumped in the truck, and I headed to Illinois after deer I call T-Post, and I just killed him tonight on the red moon, moon guide. Absolute hammer, six by six. I mean, look at that dude. Look at the hole that thing put in him. <laughs> Barely made it across the plot. Thank you, Lord. The blessings you give me, I do not deserve. Closed captioning for Team 200 provided by Quiet Cat. No matter what you do in the woods, do it with complete stealth, and you will increase your chances for success with QuietCat. All-terrain, all-electric.